From Transformers Legacy United, we have all three of the Armorizer molds, that being Magnus, Boulder Crash, and Shard. I definitely remember Shard's name. Um, I say all three. I know that we're still getting more, but all the rest of them are going to be remolds. Specifically, there's a remold of Magnus coming out and a remold of Boulder Crash. Uh, I'm going to stick to these three because this looks like a cool trio. Um, but yeah, basically, if you don't know what these guys are, they are inspired by the Rock Lords from GoBots. Only instead of just turning into rocks, they are robot rocks that turn into vehicles still. You got two Deluxes and a Core Clash. Here's Boulder Crash's box. Boop, they turn to a motorcycle. Here they are on the back. Here's the art on the side. Same thing with Magnus. Boop, and then on the back, and then on the side. And then, oop, also, yay, complete picture. Uh, and then Shard, boop. Boop, here on the back. Uh, Shard's the one I'm the most interested in, I'm not gonna lie. I skipped over Magnus and Boulder Crash both until I got Shard and thought this would be a fun trio. So now why don't we actually open them up and see if I was right. Taking a look at these three, and I want to acknowledge something right now. The Izers, you know, the Weaponizers, the Micromaster Bases, um, all the other versions, the Fossilizers. I think we can all agree, Junkions too, we're gonna throw them in, they have always been the lesser parts of Waves. I don't know anyone who is just absolutely obsessed with any of the Izers. There were Izers I enjoyed, don't get me wrong, but up until the Fossilizers, there really weren't any standout figures. With that said, these three have problems. They have a bunch of problems. But these are my favorite Izers, and they don't even do the Izer gimmick all that well, but we're gonna get into that in a minute. The thing I really dig about these is just how much character all three of them have. They don't look like any other Transformer out there. Alongside that, they look like a trio. I could see these three running around causing trouble. I don't know why. Maybe it's because, you know, rocks and thus dumb as a bag of rocks. I kind of get Team Rocket vibes from these three. Like, I don't know why, but I can definitely see, like, this is the Meowth. Over here is the kind of pretty boy trying to be cool James, and then Shard's the Jesse. I, I like this. <laughs> I like this trio. I like the idea that these are just three bumbling morons that are trying to like get in good with the Decepticons, but they actually are always doing the right thing by accident. This is a good trio. I wish that they had fiction, man. I wish they showed up in comics or in, in a show or something, but I also kind of dig just how much of a unit these three feel like. Going over individual members, here's Boulder Crash. You can see he's mostly done in this brown and kind of magma red. I really love the head sculpt where he has a crack in his visor. And yeah, he just looks like a pretty cool tiny Decepticon. You got a ball joint here in the head. You have a ball joint here in the arm. You have a ball joint for the elbow. You have, oop, that's not really articulation. It's a transformation joint, but you could use it to look side to side if you wanted to. You do have a waist joint. It's just very tight. You have a ball joint in the hip, ball joint in the knee. You also have this. So, that's for the knife mode, but yeah, it does make it look like he just has a very long tail, or like he's a tripod. And he does come with an accessory. Boop, comes with a really big knife that is literally almost as tall as he is. You can put it in the arm here, or in the hand, rather. It's a tight fit, and then boom. Yeah, Boulder Crash, ready to, to do some damage, to really go bust some guys up. Looking at Magnus next, I'll be honest, this one kind of is in my crawl now, because Vangelis pointed out that he looks like Ironhide, and I can't unsee it. Like, he does look like movie Ironhide, he has kind of the helmet design, he has the, oop, he has the wheels here in the chest, he even kind of has the same feet, same color, but this is still a pretty cool, stucky looking robot, dude. I love his head sculpt. Like, look how mean that's looking. Nah, that's great. And he has a ball joint here at the head. You have a universal here in the shoulder. You have boop and good elbow joint. A ball joint at the wrist, but it's actually inside the arm, so it's a bit weird. He has a waist swivel, universal at the hip, and then a very deep knee. And then down here, you got back and forth and side to side at the ankle. So articulation is really solid on him. He is the least sturdy feeling out of these three. Um, but at the same time, that's kind of just the deal with the atomizers. Here, I atomizers, the armorizers, and the izers in general. He does come with this kind of pickaxe weapon. Boop, goes into his arm. Looks alright. Probably the least interesting out of the weapons here. 
finally you have my girl Shard, and Shard just looks perfect. I love the head sculpt especially. It looks very insectoid. Um, you have a ball joint here at the head, universal at the shoulder. Oop, that pops out a lot. You have an elbow joint, a wrist swivel. Boop, you have a waist joint here. Oop, yeah, you do. It's just very tight. Universal at the hip and knee. And you have side to side, back and forth at the ankle. Alongside that, the weapons here are actually her helicopter blades. So, if you want, you can take these out. Boop, and these can just be swords for... Oop, come on. Oh, no, they can't. You have to hold them like this? That's weird. So if you want them to just hold the sword, they have to hold the sword like that. Because there's a tab here. And I guess that tab is just to fit them into the arm gauntlets better? Oh, that's weird. Alongside that, she has this massive helicopter tail. Uh, that's the telltale sign that they had no idea how to finish transforming this helicopter. A cool thing about these Izers, and this is something they started with the Junkions. Up until this point, Izers had to come apart to actually transform. That's not the case with these three. They can transform from robot mode to vehicle mode with no part forming, aside from removing weapons. But, I've heard that's kind of impaired their ability to be actual armor or weapons for other characters, so why don't we see just how far we can break these guys down. The answer is they don't break down a lot. Um, to be fair, Shard breaks down more than Magnus does, but eventually Magnus, Magnus's legs and torso just turn to this, and the box plays up like this is supposed to just be a massive shield. Um, okay. Shard at least loses more, but can I just point out, look at this massive thing. Like, the tail could have been like a club or something, but no. The one thing you'd think would be a weapon, you can't remove. So, they're both kind of suffering in regards to what their gimmick is supposed to be. Also, I just want to point this out, I just noticed this. Uh, on Magnus's box, boop, you see they've made like a list. They show you all the things that break down off of him. That's how they usually do it on these Izers. On Shard, though, they just show you that the gun and the legs come off. They don't even give you the part list. I think even Hasbro realizes they might have overcorrected a bit. But, hey, what about Boulder Crash? They turned into a weapon. I bet that turned out okay. That's a motorcycle with a handle. The thing that makes me the most sad was I was kind of excited to see if I could make some big, horrible Rock Lord Abomination. But, yeah, there's just not enough pieces here to do that with. I guess this just goes to show, like, as much as they suffered as action figures, at least the weaponizers and the Micromaster bases could actually do the gimmick pretty well. These guys are better experiences on their own. They're better action figures. They're better Transformers, even. But they just can't break down the same way. At the very least, I think the three of them pulled together in vehicle mode. As you can see, Boulder Crash's motorcycle mode is basically the knife mode, and when it's just supposed to be a dumb alien rock motorcycle, I think this works really well. Also, three wheels, so it's technically a trike. Yay, it rolls like that. I enjoy it, and if you want, just boom, and now it's a unicorn cycle. So, Magnus went from being the single one I was least impressed with in robot mode to being a really nice truck, actually. His transformation's pretty clever for what it is, and I love how armored this thing looks. Like, yeah, I totally buy that if we made trucks out of rocks, this is how at least one of them would turn out. I really like how the wheels are kind of shouldered. You can even see, they have the bar that you put your foot on to get inside the truck, only it's made out of rock, and thus it's really jagged. It's really clever in that way. My one issue, his axe has nowhere to go in vehicle mode except for uh, right there, which I'm not against. It makes him look even dumber in a good way. But like you look down here, you see this opening? It really feels like there was supposed to be a way to connect it down here because it fits perfectly. But uh, you know, aside from that, I really enjoy the truck mode. Shard just continues to blow me away. I love this. Look at this helicopter. Like, that's the thing is, like, it doesn't even really look like rock. I know it's supposed to be that Shard is supposed to be, like, made out of, like, gemstones and crystals. But, like, this just looks like kind of Botanica from Beast Machines. It, w it makes me think more like this is a helicopter made out of plant life than out of rocks. But it's still a really cool effect. I adore this helicopter. I think the transformation is actually really fun to get here. And as you can see... 
the thrusters are still on her arms. You just switch them around. So there is a bit of parts forming for Shard. But this is just class, man. I like it. I mean, seriously, you just look at these three together and I can imagine there being a really funny, like, memeable scene in a cartoon where these two just completely missed Bumblebee. They missed him at the last pass and Shard screams out, Idiots! Idiots! And then doubles back. And it's like, I don't know. I, it's a thing where, like, we get no fiction for these toys, so we kind of have to, if we want to have character in them, make it up ourselves. And these three are just the worst at being evil. They are the worst of the worst, and worst is not a compliment. I'll be honest, even just playing with these guys, I'm just so taken with them. And weirdly enough, the fact that the gimmick doesn't work here, the fact that they suck at being Izers, actually kind of makes me like them more. It's like, these guys are so dumb, they don't even know how to fall apart correctly. And I know that that's not real, I know that that's not design intent, but man, when you give me cool stuff and don't want to tell me anything about the characters, I am going to project because I have no life like that. I enjoy Rock Lords, I enjoy GoBots, I enjoy how goofy silly they always are. And yeah, I could totally see these three being so dumb that Psykill and Crasher have to walk them through what transformation even is. And Shard's the boss because Shard is slightly smarter than the other two, but like, I bet she also doesn't even know what basic math is. Overall, I like these three a lot, and I would recommend all three of them if you just want a goofy play experience with some stupid rock transformers. And out of the three, I do think Shard is the best. I think it's really weird that Shard's also the only one who doesn't have a repaint or a remold coming up. But I'll be honest, I was convinced I was just going to stick with these three, but I kind of want to see this group expand, so I might be picking up those repaints now for no other reason than to make sure I have a whole colony of stupid, stupid, stupid rocks.